CBS Young and the Restless Spoilers, Deacon is resisting Nikki's claims and doesn't want to reveal any of Diane's secrets. Because he made a promise to protect her, Nikki is furious at being betrayed. She vowed to kill both Deacon and Sheila. They were a group together. Deacon had secretly sent information about Nikki to Diane, so she was on guard. Nikki can't escape Diane's hand. She has a lot of experience for her battles and is ready to do it well. Deacon and Diane will meet in Genoa. They're ready to reunite. Diane can't live alone forever. She needs quality allies. Nikki's trying to use his stupid love in the past to seduce Deacon, but he is different. Nikki is now just a memory, no longer as beautiful and young as before. Now she is old, ugly, and wrinkled. Nikki apologizes for hurting Deacon once. She wants to be compensated, but those are just words and need to act honestly to show bravery. Nikki never dared to escape Victor's love because if she left him, she would be alone. Deacon has a plan to counterattack Nikki, which is set to trap for her to fall into. Then use it to blackmail Victor. They will benefit a lot. Diane and Talia are now friends and allies. After she was fired from work by Nikki, she did not return to LA but stayed to help Diane. They were also friends in the past, it was discovered. Tucker also appears in a variety of special roles, but all of these characters are mostly related to Diane and her feud. This program is increasingly following a certain path. Nikki and Diane are both in danger. Their enemies are growing and coming to Genoa in large numbers. Victor and the Newman family certainly won't be able to stay out of this war. They will join in and make it more and more interesting. That's right, they won't leave Nikki alone to fight a bunch of traitors.